Hi everybody, welcome back to another video and my Fiber Sponsor, as you can see right here, that uh, I would like to repot today. I will show you the reason why. As you probably can see, it is in very dense soil, so I have not repotted this since I bought it almost three years ago, I think. So it is definitely in need of a repot. I think it's not really root bound at this point, but um, the soil simply gets flushed out every time I water it, so there's less and less soil in there. So it's definitely time for a repot. And that's what we're gonna do today. So of course, first step is to take it out. And as you can see here, the root mass is not that dense actually. So you can see it is not pot bound, but the soil is simply not the best soil it could be in. So the first thing we're gonna do is of course, get rid of the old soil, get really in the root mass, free up the roots. I like to use a chop stick simply for getting into the roots without damaging too much. So we're just getting off this layer of soil that is very clay-like, I would almost say, so very, very dense. And the more I get into it, the denser it seems to be. So it's really dense. Let me try to open it up a bit, maybe also break up the soil and the root mess a bit with my hands just to get the, the first big layer of soil off of the roots. I think we will actually see some quite nice roots still hiding underneath here because they became already visible from the top. So I'm looking forward to see what is underneath there. This for example here, there was some rotted root mess here. So we take this one off. Here we can see an aerial root that we definitely will position in a way that will suit the overall look of the tree then. But first, we have to take this oil off. So it's starting to loosen up quite nicely. I actually plan on potting it again in the same pot. As you can see, the root mass is not that developed, so it doesn't make sense to, to put it into a bigger pot at this point. Also, the overall size of the tree does fit the pot quite nicely, so it does make sense. Otherwise, I would probably have too much soil anyway in a bigger pot, so it would take longer to dry out in between waterings and, of course, the risk of having rot in the root mass would be bigger. So I'd rather stay again with this size pot to not stress the tree too much and to not have it, as I said, in too much soil without the, the adequate root mass to, to support it in there. So I think we're starting to get somewhere here. As this one has not been reported since I brought it home, I really have no idea how the roots underneath here are looking. I do expect to see one quite big root somewhere in here that probably was cut at one point to put it then into the bonsai pot after it has been grown because these commercially grown trees of course don't really have a lot of like work to the roots done normally so you don't see quite intricate root work. What I do see already now is that there's not that much root mass actually. So let's see what we can work with here. And here, I think we have this bigger roots that I was talking about. Here's one definitely that we might cut back a little bit. And I think down here, there's actually a very big one. So actually we pot it maybe a bit higher than it used to be. And that way, Increase the height of the tree, give it a nice feature here also. Here's where it was cut before, I see. But I do think we could actually pot it higher than it used to be. Take some of this upper roots out. And also change the shape and the look of the tree through this. As there's not that many fine roots, I actually didn't really need the chopsticks until this point because the soil came off quite nicely. I also didn't water it the last couple of days, so the last three days, to dry it out a bit to get the soil removed easier. So, let me still see if we have here some soil, but I think we cleaned it up quite nicely. 
get the roots a bit in order still. And let me give you a look. As I mentioned, you can see here, we have a lot of potential additional trunk actually that has quite a nice look and feel to it. This stuff here I would still keep on because of course now it's still covered in soil. Later on I might remove this one. So there was, I guess, a, a sister trunk here sometime in the past of this tree that was removed when it was potted up, I guess, to give you a view here. So probably moved in this direction. Here's a bigger root that was also taken off. And here's one bigger root that is actually uh, an aerial root, as you can see. So the aerial root has developed one of the stronger roots here. So I will definitely make use of that. Also the smaller aerial root here in the back that I'm not sure is still alive, but we will keep it on and see. And also some lower aerial roots that have developed here from the band inside. So I do think I will actually pot it at this height, I would say. Increase the height of the tree, have this aerial roots more prominent on the tree. And just, as I said, overall change the shape of the tree a bit. So let's see how much smaller roots we have on this aerial root to see how much I can actually take down. But I can definitely decrease also the height or the length of this root a bit. The same here, so I do want to thin out these very thick roots definitely, or these long roots like here. We don't need them. So we go in, cut here a bit. As I said, this arrow root we can cut to still some thinner roots on it, but take out also a considerable part of it, but keep it alive definitely. And here I also said we do we do take it back, I would say, to roughly here. Other than that, as there is not that much root mass on it, I wouldn't do too much. These ones here will still take out because, as I said, they will no longer be... No, actually, I don't think I will take them out. No, because I want to remove this anyway. I can take them out. They won't function as aerial roots also because my plan is to get rid of this dump anyway, sooner or later. So I think we are at a point where we have it enough prepared to try fitting it into the pot and see how it actually would look like in its pot then when we have it higher out and then really work on the details of it. So let me see the pot. We don't have any mesh in here, but I've prepared some so simply to cover to cover it so that soil doesn't leak when we water the tree. So I cover both drainage holes with it and then put the first layer of soil. Uh, the soil that I'm using is basically a mixture of small clay pebbles, bark, um, coco coir is also in there, so a very airy mix, uh, definitely better than the one it we used to be in. I will put handful in there, try to make actually a little a little hill in the middle where I can place them in the tree and see how it would look like. I would actually say we go even a bit higher than that. So let me still add some more soil. I also prepared some more clay pebbles here on the side simply to, to move them in with the soil, make it as airy as possible. So I think I actually quite like this height. The question is though, as this is the front of the tree, I'd rather look from this side to see if we would cover everything we need to cover. But I do think this gives it a quite nice look. It is higher out than, as I said, we have more aerial roots here in the bottom that were actually completely covered by soil, this one's here. So it definitely makes it look more interesting. Again, a bit more soil still. And I think then we are at a good height. So let's fill out the tree, see if it will stand like this or if I actually need to tie it in. But I do think as we left on quite a lot of roots, it will stay in here quite nicely and it shouldn't have a problem with it falling out. 
normally especially at a point where then water it, it does uh, actually get more well established in it so there shouldn't be too much of a problem so let me make some of those clay pebbles still in here as I said and fill out all the spaces in the pot of course first only roughly and then we will go in make sure there's no air bubbles underneath somewhere because of course that could damage the roots when water is sitting too much in the pot that would of course be counterproductive when we repot the tree so i'm already pushing the soil a bit more in and then we basically take it with the chopsticks really try to go underneath the tree try to move the soil really in all the little crannies that might have created when we filled in the soil oh as i said maybe i do need to tie in the tree but let me again situate it and see if it would hold but it is quite shaky so it do actually think I need to tie it in. Let me see if we work the roots a bit more in. Here we have a bit of a big place. I will still try to see if we can fixate it. Otherwise, of course, I will tie it in then. But I feel as there is still a lot of space that I can see now here. That is the reason why it's not fully holding yet. So let me first work in the soil, as I said, and then we will see if it still falls out or if it holds better then. But of course, before it falls and before it's too shaky, I would rather tie it in. <laughs> but I do see there's a lot of space underneath, so I think we can actually work with it this way. Let me again prepare some more soil. to the pot and the more of course we add and apply pressure to it the more stable it will get but let's see if it is actually stable enough but now of course right now I can see the pot is still like one centimeter in it so definitely a lot of soil still needed to really fill it out and see if we then stabilize it through this Oh, of course I don't want to make it too compact because it should still be airy enough so the water drains and there is enough air reaching the roots but also make it compact enough that there's not too much air in it and that water sits in certain areas where then root rot could occur. So definitely in here I see there's still almost no soil and I think that is the problem right now so again go in mix some clay pebbles with this soil mixture I have prepared there's also a lot actually that is built next to the tree so I can use that one too and let me try to actually move that in here to get it really in this middle of the tree where we still need some more soil And I feel it's already getting a bit more established now, to be honest. And of course, we still need to water it then, which also normally settles it in a bit more still. But it doesn't shake as much any longer. Here, actually, we have an aerial root that is not fully covered by soil yet. So I do want to make sure we cover it, at least for now, a bit more in soil until the roots can grow deeper into this new soil. But I do like the, this one here. I have to clean it out later on, but of course for now I just want it to settle in. So I don't want to take too much of this root mess out at the moment. Because it just, I really like the look of these roots here. It gives it a very, very interesting look now. And this was a feature that was before completely hidden underneath this very dense soil it was in. So that alone is already <laughs> worth the repotting and of course the benefits for the tree 
by not sitting in too dense soil, especially now as winter is around the corner where it does take longer to dry out anyway. It does make sense to repot it just to give it the best conditions it could be in for the winter. Here's a bit more soil still. Here we can still work it in a bit more. As I said here with those roots, we really need to make sure that we put the soil underneath and I can see it really once you start going in with the chopstick, you can really see how suddenly there's a hole again appearing where before it was covered by soil because simply there was so much space still underneath that you couldn't see with the bare eye that now suddenly then becomes apparent. But I think now we're at a point where we have filled this pot with soil and enough soil to actually also stabilize the tree as it looks so no tie in for now at least otherwise i would simply tie it in outside of the pot to have it established a bit more because it does actually not shake that much if i move it any longer actually the whole pot then shakes so it shows me it is more connected to the pot now than it was before giving you simply a close-up of how it looks down here so you can really see those nice roots here now. This is actually what I would consider probably still the back of the tree, though I really need to take a closer look at what I do consider the back and the front now. And this I would consider the front of the tree, probably, even though I like the roots. If I show you from the back side more because it's more intricate, so maybe I actually focus more on this side as a potential front. If we look at it this way, we could simply clear it up here by a bit of wiring that it will do once it has settled in a bit more. And once this also this branch established itself a bit more. And I think then we also have a very nice trunk line here from this side now. But for now, for the repotting, I would say we're at a point where I'm happy with how it looks like. I will water it now, make sure uh, the, the soil still gets more compact by watering. If needed, fill it out a bit more with soil than still and otherwise give it a rest. Make sure it doesn't deteriorate now over the next couple of days and weeks and I will keep you updated on this tree. If you have any questions about this ficus, about the repotting I did, of course feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, of course, also feel free to leave a like and I would of course also appreciate if you subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.